The sun rises on the Mississippi River in Blyville, Arkansas, and it's time to get to work. Welcome to our port facility at Nucor Yamato Steel, one of Nucor's structural steel mills. This is where much of our scrap steel arrives on site. Watch our crest truck pass to your right as it begins the half mile trip from the river to our state of the art steel mill. Now, we're in our scrap yard, riding on one of our scrap haulers. We have seven different kinds of scrap that allow us to control the chemistry of our steel depending on what products we are making. In a steel mill, you must always be aware of your surroundings. Here, one of our cranes is heading out to the scrap yard with a bucket to fill up another load of scrap for our furnaces. Each bucket can carry up to 135 tons of scrap. Now that we have our scrap mix selected, let's head to the melt shop floor to watch our electric arc furnaces in action. Welcome to the melt shop floor. In front of you is a 1,098 volt electric arc furnace, or EAF. Our double EAFs are capable of melting 150 tons of scrap into molten steel in a matter of minutes. To do this, we take the top off the furnace and drop the scrap in, which is called dropping a charge. After that, we replace the top and lower electrodes into the steel until it is melted. Next, the steel heads to our ladle metallurgy furnace where we adjust the chemistry and temperature. At the ladle metallurgy furnace, our teammates add alloys such as carbon, lime, silicon, and copper to the molten steel and measure the temperature with a thermocouple immersion lens. We test and control the chemistry of the steel depending on the structural steel products our customers have ordered and the exact composition they have specified. After the LMF, our steel goes to the caster. At Nucor Yamato, we employ a rotating continuous caster that allows us to solidify multiple heat sequentially. Here, the ladles, one just emptied into the caster, and another full of molten steel ready to cast, rotate smoothly into place. As the molten steel is processed through the caster, it is cooled and formed into large blanks. Once the molten steel is solidified into blanks, it is cut to the desired length for the next step, the rolling process, where it will be formed into one of our many structural products. Our rolling mill process starts with the reheat furnace where blanks are reheated to approximately 2,350 degrees. This makes them more malleable, so the mill stands can use pressure to shape the beam blank. As a result of this shaping, the length is increased. You are now standing on a catwalk above our rolling mill. Below, you can see a new beam rolling back and forth through a roll stand as 1,500 tons of pressure are applied to form its new shape. Some of our beams get as long as 320 feet during this process. After being rolled, our products are cut to the customer's specified length by an 84-inch diameter rotating saw. Water is used to cool down the intense heat produced by the saw. Check out the sparks. Quality and customer service are our top priorities at Nucor Yamato. 
All our steel is tested on site by teammates at our quality testing lab. Our steel ships to customers all over the world by rail, truck, and barge. We are incredibly proud that our steel forms the backbone of so many important construction projects in America and around the world.